Don't envy Claire too much. Can you imagine being engaged to a sex symbol? I, I've never really considered myself to be a sex symbol, really. It's sort of something that gets written about in tacky papers in England and things like that. And, um... <clears throat> see the very mention of the word to make me go off. Um... It's... It's something... I don't know... You can with Simon Le Bon, but first... Let me remind you that tomorrow we... I mean, I question that. Um, um, you can see the Rolling Stones, for example, and they've been there for years and years and years and years and years. Well, a lot of people say they shouldn't be there. I personally think they should be. I, I think they're brilliant. I'm proud of them. Um, but, I don't know, but particularly with us, because, because our success has happened so quickly, you know, that a lot of people look, look on us and they think, God, I've been slugging my 15 years and these little upstart bag kids have come along and um, you know what have they done and they're just waiting you know they're, they're the ones that's just waiting for us to sort of fall oh. off the ladder they see they see us as, as, as creating a very a very flimsy sort of paper ladder which can't possibly hold the weight of, of, of success and, and a band for very long whereas I've got every every confidence in, in our in AR artistry and talent, I do believe in the band's talent. You know, if you, you, you hear just the things that happen when they're writing are amazing, exciting. And also, we're not stupid, you know, we're not stupid enough to get to get sort of dragged down some junkie down. I think to actually to get there and to stay there is very important. I think music and rock and roll is the secret of eternal youth. I think you have to keep you have to keep being new, you have to keep Think of new ideas, being original, and and to have enthusiasm for it, to enjoy doing it. Well, they usually they, they, they initiated by the lyrics. Well, they always do actually. They always got something to do with the lyrics. Um, and what we generally happens is we'll find the director who we want to work with, see if he's into doing it. If he says yes, we'll sit down and have a chat about <coughs> what's in the song what it's about, what the, what we'd like to see happening, what kinds of things we'd like to see as well, not just what it's all about, the kind of atmosphere we want. And um, then I'll go through the song with him line by line by line, explain each one, go through, you know, just look at it from all different directions. And then he'll, he'll go away and have a little think and I'll have a little think. Because that, that kind of broadens everybody's mind, that kind of, that kind of analysis. And we'll come back and then we'll, we'll see what ideas we've got and see if they fit together. Um, or maybe he's got a complete story, or maybe I've got a complete story that would work, sort of on, on the scenario storyboard. And between us, we 